Hey guys, it's Lucidorio here. What's going on? What's hip with you guys? And nothing very interesting happens in this episode. Let me just tell you right off the bat. So right now, this episode, right, we're just taking, we're just, you know, taking a tour of my new crib in Toussaint. And that's basically it. I, I wanted to like make this like the last episode because, you know, I really love this DLC and I want to have more private time with it. If you get my meaning. Well, I mean... Shit, I have actually don't even think this is going to be the last episode. I mean, as of this video, I've actually finished the DLC. So, well, I don't know, we could still, like, you know, hang out some more, see if there's a little more, any more quests that we can do. Maybe, I don't know. You tell me, boo-boo. So, yeah, uh, basically, if you want to see, because, like, okay, this next part for the next two minutes now, you're just talking, uh, Major Domo is just talking about the, the, the history of the house. So, if you want to skip that, you can just go you go right ahead and do that, all right? I'll see you guys in the next two minutes. See ya. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. Thank you. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, yeah. in that case. Yeah, you actually, leave yeah, it that's all true. To me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Uh, this place. Tell me more about this vineyard place. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Brossel, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, show me... Yeah, show me around the... Mind the giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Okay, all right. I'm I'm game. This is like my this is like my crib now. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Pretty Indeed. vast. And that now, is... sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Oh, yes, you, okay, I come okay. from a long line of just, major domos. Just push me, push me aside. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up. Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasure. Nice of her. 
Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. So yeah, this this here is like my uh, my 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 servant's house. He's the one who wipes my ass, you know. He wipes my ass with money, with 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 Novigrad crowns. I don't know how that works because they're mostly coins, but I'll just roll with it because I'm a boss like that. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted, and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's My oldest. vineyard? Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Oh my god, just capture this moment. Days. Just screenshot this moment. That's just downright glorious. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Volius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's wow. a tale about a guest attending a Bolius school for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. That's the how I'd like to go out. Were coming to a close, and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebiodo. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yeah. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Yes, you are. <laughs> This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. It did. Oh, bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for roach. The cellars, voila! During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which... I made while fighting the Bruxa. Oh. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Oh. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, so this is the place. Right. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Um... As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it. A certain subtle southern charm. True. Though mm. it could use a bit of subtle paint. Probably I can do something about that. Welcome inside. Yeah, I can't see shit. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, 
Do you need Consider to me ask? At your surface on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Thanks. I will definitely gotta get back do to something about now. this. See you we soon. gotta whip this place up into some shape, you know? We gotta whip this place up t to some shape. Or, like, whip it up to, like, you know... Okay, yeah, yeah, just push me aside, no problem. Yeah, that's not rude at all. And this is my bed. And I just need to just go and just, like, fall asleep. I have to fall asleep. I'll just sleep the whole day. Like, fuck everything. Fuck everything for the whole day. I'll just sleep. Good luck the whole day. Anyways, guys. So, I just rested. And, actually, I really need to do... I really do need to go and get some rest. Like, honestly, like, the first... These three, which are three blood, blood and wine episodes, I filmed from 3 in the morning to 5. I waited, I waited all night to film these. And... I, honestly, this was my decision because I really wanted to play this. I'm just enjoying this DLC. I really love it. It is like the best DLC ever. Because it's like the best game ever. Anyways, so yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna make more. If you want, if you really want to see me make more, uh, more videos on this DLC, then leave a like, share, tell me what you think, and I'll do it. I'll do it quick and easy just like that so without further ado uh let everyone know what a wonderful oreo the lucid oreo is this has been lucid oreo cue the outro and i am out hey guys it's lucid oreo here saying that if you enjoyed this awesome video give it a like share subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to take much more of your time. So I'm just going to tell you, have a great time on YouTube. I'm out.